Sljedeći rum je šamo ovaj, a kako se pričemo šamo ovaj... Šta je ovaj? So soft. So juicy. So flavorful. We got clean and matbuka. That's always one of my biggest fears when I'm checking a bag is that it doesn't arrive. Thankfully, this time, took Airways, did it right, and it arrived with no issues. Can I sit? Yeah. Okay. I did already prepay. Is that the mouth? Yeah. Mouth or nose? At least she didn't go on my nose first. Such perfect weather. It's probably, I'd say, 70 degrees right now. So perfect, like long sleeves and jeans weather. Remember yeah, Itamar, yeah. go back to the Serbia series and watch the Serbia series. Make sure you head down to Itamar's channel, that's going to be linked in the description box below. None of us knew Serbia. And Itamar came up with the idea that if we want to ask for chicken, what do we do? Chicken? <laughs> See, you just got to adapt. You got to stay on your toes when you're traveling. You got to learn something. And Itamar and his family, they're kosher, so we have one set of dishes for meats, one set of dishes for dairy, one set of silverware for dairy, one set of silverware for meat. And he said even in some houses they have uh, different sinks to clean the silverware. So Ooh. this one is called chuche. Chuche. Yeah, my grandma made it yesterday, so it's super fresh. It's really good. It's got like a charred taste to it with like a sweet sauce on it. Really if you're like me and you need some help learning the basics before traveling to a new country, you can try using Rosetta Stone. I've been using Rosetta Stone for a couple of weeks to try and pick up on different key phrases and learn a little bit of Hebrew. Ita told me it was going to be a little harder to travel Israel because of how little they spoke English. He said the young generation speaks a little bit of English, but the older generation in the countryside not so much. You can not only make communicating with locals easier, but you can allow yourself to better understand the culture. And you can use it on your phone, desktop, so no matter where you are, you can either brush up on a language or learn a whole new one. I love how it breaks down more than 25 different languages from core pronunciation and grammar to using patented speech recognition technology. This allows you to not only know what to say, but exactly how to say it. If you click the link down below, you can check out Rosetta Stone's monthly subscription packages, or you can also get unlimited access to the app for only $179. And we're on Mamila Street. This is uh, generally what you see in a very, very touristic section of each country is a shopping street. This is it. This is your Timberland, your Dior, your Gucci, your very high-end retail shops. <laughs> So it's 54 gigabytes for a hundred shekels. Um, it's a 30 day plan. They don't have a, a, a week plan. What do you mean? But I'm currently. Now. No. In Israel. I have a phone number, so call me if you need me. And we have went from the main walking and shopping street into the old city. And you can tell a huge difference. 
there are still a lot of restaurants. There are Versace shops here, good hotels, all different restaurants and street shopping. It's so, so clean down here. has a lot of similarities to like the old bazaar in uh, Istanbul just because of you know the structure the the shopping stalls and how everything's laid out but it is much much cleaner like there's no trash and one of the gentlemen at the shop stall said said he's like yeah but you got to think about it 20 million just in Istanbul like, that's more than the entire population of Israel I cannot believe they're even trying to fit down through here. This must be more common than I think. This is super cool. The market is massive. And not only is the market massive, spreading over hundreds of streets, but in the middle of the market, you have police officers and soldiers walking through so you feel extra safe. Yeah. The holy place in the, for the Jews is inside the golden building. Ah. So you're saying that the western wall has been here longest and the southern wall and the other walls surrounding the compound are actually somewhat newer. Not necessarily newer, but newly discovered. Um, so you see people praying on the western, western wall all day every day because this is the original wall the wall that has been here and noticeable the longest and there's thousands hundreds of thousands of people that come here every year to visit they come to pray and they either say the prayer towards the wall or they write it down and they can actually stick the prayer in the cracks of the wall and leave it there little fun fact that you probably don't know that Itamar had just told me is in the military when you join the military for Israel you're actually enlisting here with your hand on the wall because it's the most holy place so not only can you pray here but the military actually has to enlist here either say the prayer and bring it up to the wall or can I just write like a wish instead of a yeah, prayer? Yeah, you can a just wish is write whatever you want to ask okay. from, from God, from whoever you believe. So I've always had this big dream of mine and it's like a passion, a dream, something I, I really want to fulfill and it's to build a school somewhere in Africa. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, I don't know if I can tell you guys but that's what I'm wishing for. This is technically the Orthodox Jewish, where the women are on the left, or the right if you're looking at it, on my left, and then the men are on the left, or the right, over here. But they have the Orthodox, or they have the Orthodox Jewish here, and then they have the Reformed Jewish in the US, or like other countries, where they merge the men and women during prayer. Ita Dunn found the coolest restaurant in all of Old Jerusalem. This is an incredible dining area and it's called France. And how much is the mixed kebab, he said? 
So we were gonna pay together about around 110. Okay. Like the SIM card. Yeah, so around thirty dollars. So around thirty bucks, but we got two full lunches with mixed kebabs. We got beef and chicken thigh. Chicken thighs, we got beef, we got onions, cabbage, carrots, mixed, tomato, cucumber, salad, olives and pickles. We got trina. 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 <laughs> and matbuka. So so how do I eat this? Just put it in your plate and heat it however you want, bro. Put a pita inside with a salad and matbuka and a bunch of uh, pickles. That no, beef that. is so, so good. So soft, so juicy, so flavorful. And the chicken thigh, chicken is very hard to cook correctly. And this chicken is cooked very well. It's not too dry, perfect amount of moisture, got that grilled charred taste to it. And now you just dig in with vegetables. I think they got Italian dressing on the mixed green salad. You got onions, tomatoes, cucumbers, I believe peppers, green peppers in there with some Italian dressing over top. Very, very delicious. Freshly cooked meat right in front of you. Incredible, incredible atmosphere in a restaurant. It was like eating in a cave. And you're right inside the old market. We have arrived at our last stop of the first day. This is in the Christian quarters of the old city in Jerusalem, and it has two of the holiest Christianity sites in the world. The cross that Jesus was crucified on, and the empty tomb that was made for Jesus Christ himself. <laughs> sure what that is for because it's 355 yeah. times 3 o'clock. No, that makes sense. <laughs> it's still beautiful. It echoes through the whole building. The entire church is this beautiful circle structure all the way up over. I come to Israel and Ethan's like, we're gonna travel all over. I was like, awesome, sick, dude, what cities are we going to? He goes, oh yeah, I gotta go get coffee. We come back, he goes, I got this because we've been traveling. It's a portable coffee kit Bro, made amazing. with propane. He's about to cook up coffee in the parking lot. Yeah. Can you do that? I don't think you can do that. Not in the city. I don't know if you can. Okay, oh, out of the city, at the nature. Yeah, I think you can do it in the nature. I don't know if you can do it in the parking lot. Uh, you can, you can. It's not common. <laughs> <laughs> but you can.